Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's always a pleasure to bring in a new video to my DIY fun. Here in this video I'm going to show how I create my personal new eyeshadow palettes. To start off I'm using 91% rubbing alcohol, Sally Hansen's Nails and Cuticles Hand Cream, a empty 28 eyeshadow palette, a glass bowl, a stainless steel mixer, and a few personal eyeshadow palettes I do not use as much anymore, but will be putting them into good use. I begin scraping off the blue eyeshadows into the glass bowl. With the stainless steel mixer, I crush and mix the crushed eyeshadows even more. Then I splash some rubbing alcohol. I add two squirts of the Sally Hansen moisturizer and mix the ingredients. I add some more alcohol to reach a smooth consistency. I keep mixing until it is all creamy. With the stainless steel mixer, I place the creamy eyeshadow into the empty eyeshadow pan in a flat-like motion and set it to the side to dry off for around 24 hours. Place it to the side. I proceed to do the same with the rest of the eyeshadow pigments. Also gloves may be used to prevent any staining of the skin. I'm planning on adding some more eyeshadow pans into this palette so I remove the plastic pan holder with the stainless steel mixer. Carefully turning the pan over to place some Elmer's school glue in order to stick the pan into the palette. Since blue is my favorite color in eyeshadows, I begin with them first, then aligned my eyeshadows in a certain color sequence as you can see here. Instead of the original 28 shadows, I got to squeeze in 32 and this is what was left from all the mixing. I also recommend placing a towel on whatever surface this method will be done in case anyone wants to do this. Again using the Elmer's glue to stick this mini mirror. Then with the classic glitter glue I pour it around the mirror to add some glitter to it. Now adding some heart stickers just to make it look a little fancy. Cutting a personal printed label I made myself and yes that is my face. It might be a little too much but in the end it's my personal palette. Rolling up some clear tape onto the palette going to set three right in the middle. Carefully placing the label, planning onto the palette. Securing the label with more tape around the label. And that is my very colorful, personal, awesome palette. After 24 hours had passed, I wanted to try out the palette just to test out how pigmented the colors were. Not bad. First, I placed my makeup as usual. Place my primer. Now using white eyeliner underneath my eyebrows. for my waterline. I start off using some of the highlighted purple eyeshadows. I'm 
using some foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna use my eyeshadow stamper to create a nice cut crease. You can either use a regular foundation or a color corrector. Alright, now I'm gonna go over the cut crease. I'm going to blend some more purple onto my eyes. Adding some more eyeshadow onto my eyelids. Now underneath my eyes. Now cleaning up any fallout. Adding my eyeliner. Adding the foundation with the color corrector. Well, mixing it together, I mean. And I'm going to get rid of that face shine. Again, going underneath the waterline. I'm going to use some mascara. Mascara. I'm going to contour my nose a little bit with the eyeshadow. And adding some liquid highlighters. It seems that the colors came out pretty pigmented. Not bad. Curling my eyelashes. Using lip smackers. I think grape flavored gloss over my lips. And that is the result. I also created another palette where I made a few highlighters and brought them together in a smaller palette. And for some weird reason, the Easter Bunny decided to come to play with my palette. And I guess he really liked the colors. This is why he looks so energetic. Playing with an egg that does not break, obviously. Here are some other eyeshadow looks I did using the palettes. And that is about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing how I created these palettes as a nifty DIY project. This helps as well to free up some more space for makeup. I was really glad to see that there was finally time to get this done and to showcase it on here on YouTube for you guys to see. Well, I would just like to say thank you all for taking the time to view my video. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you are new to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell button after subscribing it helps out a lot with notifications you all take care now and bye bye until the next time